Now, I can tell because I've been making biscuits a long time, focus on the bowl, baby, is that this is actually not going to be enough. This is the pan, but I'm making a lot of biscuits, so, you know, this is the pan or the cooking sh cookie sheet. It doesn't matter whether it's a deep pan or a cookie sheet, but there are some pans that cook better. Glass plates and bowls, uh, casserole dishes like that are not made for making biscuits. They just won't brown right. They won't do what you need them to do. So you need a good old-fashioned, old-fashioned, old beat-up looking pan that works really good. The first thing I'm going to do for it is I'm going to take my shortening and I'm going to, as they say, I'm going to grease the pan. Now, as you can see, I'm having difficulty with my nails. I got it, Grandma. Okay, but it's always good to have your little helper. Good. If you lift it up, I got it. I can do it now. Okay. Okay. Cooking. Best kind of cooking is when you got hands-on experience. And all I'm going to do is all this pan. Just coat it real, you know, nice and even. It doesn't matter, you know. You don't have to use a lot of it because you just want to coat the pan so that your biscuits don't, don't stick. Mm. Just a nice little fine coat on it. Okay, you cannot make those noises and I'm videoing. Right? It's rude. Don't do that. Glad you have children. You understand. If you don't, you have nephews and nieces. You understand. Okay, now that I have the pan sufficiently greased, I'm going to add because I know I'm going to need more I'm going to add at least another cup of flour. Let's measure it and then I'll tell you what it actually is. Okay. Yeah, that's a cup of flour. So then the amount is three and a half cups of flour. Now Now, this is about a cup of shortening, okay? Like I say, let me let you see. See? That's about a cup of shortening. And Jay, I need you to really get a shot. And all you begin to do with your fork is that you're going to begin to mash the shortening into the flour. It's, just keep on cutting it into that flour. Right in the center, we, that's where we're working. I'm turning my bowl as I go, probably because that way I can make it around to all the shortening and try to get it evenly because the way you blend your shortening with your flour, it really does make a difference because you want to make sure. If I stop now, it wouldn't be right because you got big pieces of shortening in there. So you have to keep going. And what you want to do is get it to the consistency of little peas if you can see, I have this little hole in there now. Okay. Move back some so you can actually see what I'm doing. Good job. Thank you, Jay. You're doing a good job. And what I'm doing as I do it, I'm actually adding more flour. Because I when I when the shortening mixture with the with the flour touches the dry flour, it automatically mixes it in with it. So that's the process, and you want to think about that as you are making your biscuits. Okay. I'm so glad that I learned how to make biscuits. A lady just asked me, she said, why won't you... What are you doing, darling? You're tapping on the screen. What are you doing? No, I'm trying to... Get this off the screen. Nothing, What's, ain't nothing happening. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, a lady asked me, said, why don't you just go buy some Miss B uh, biscuits? Okay, now look at this and you'll see that it's beginning to mix more and it's kind of like pebbles. 
as you notice I've not used my hand very much at all in the mixture of this you see how the little is forming into these little I say pebbles or peas or whatever the only time you're gonna actually see me using my hand doing this stage is as I pull the mixture off the fork now because I've done this enough times I know that it's time to add my milk so I have my buttermilk I don't it's just dairy fresh I always have used it you know I used to use barbers it's just whatever I want some good buttermilk so we're gonna begin and that is let's see this is one and one fourth cup of buttermilk is what I'm beginning with now I'm actually I'm finished with the shortening now what I'm gonna do is in the center of this mixture I'm gonna start adding the buttermilk I add it slowly into it and my focus is, is on the mixture in the middle in the center of this that's my focus okay now I already know that I'm gonna need a little more buttermilk I can see and I want you to be able to see it that it's stiff okay if you stop now and start making the biscuits they're gonna be tough dry biscuits so I'm going to use another cup or about another cup yeah it's actually a cup another cup of buttermilk yeah this gonna get it right and as you see I put some of it in and I start working it now as my fork goes through this I can still feel the stiffness of it so it's still a little bit too stiff so I'm gonna put put some more buttermilk in it and I'm gonna pour and mix after a while we're gonna get to that you can show my face a minute after a while up here after a while we're gonna get to that stage where I'm actually tossing them from side to side that you remember me doing okay now back to the bowl sweetheart I have a good videographer okay I still feel a little stiffness so I'm gonna add the remainder of the buttermilk so you see that I used all of that one cup and as I'm working now the other flour is actually adding and I can tell that this is good this is just about right yeah that's good okay yeah I'll get tired I still need a little more and this time I'm using a half a cup yep about a half a cup now what I've actually done is I've used all the flour that was in the bowl because I need to get to where I actually can stir this which means all the other flour that I put in here oh, oh I'm making a mess good this is the way it's supposed to look right here you are supposed to be able to stir it like this that's how you know when you can go through it like this it's actually ready that's good okay now you see it we're ready to actually start molding the making the biscuits now what I do is focus on the mixture one time for me this is the mixture and I add flour now how much flour you use the only way you're gonna know is as you are making it first thing I do I put flour on my hands I reach into the mixture I got my fingers mixed up you know really good and this is what I do they are soft in my hands I can roll it around like this it's gonna I'm gonna form the shape of it just like that and it's ready 
This is what I'm going to do. Now what I do is, I kind of reach down under the mixture so that the flour I just put on it will actually go down to the bottom. So it makes it easier for me to work with it. Now on this side I've not put enough flour. So I'm going back in the bag, get some more flour, and that way when I go under it, that flour actually goes under there. Now it's really, really ready now. You see I can touch it and it doesn't stick to my fingers. If it sticks to my, now I'm able to pull and the amount that you get in your hand determines the size of biscuits that you have. You want light little biscuits, then that's what you do. And I'm actually shaping it. Good. Now, I know that I need some more flour on my hand because when I pull that one, it kind of like stuck on my finger. That tells me there's nothing wrong. I just need some more flour on my hand. And I just put it off in there and make sure my hand is floured at all times. You know, we, we, we're, we're good. We're cooking now. We're doing it. Too bad it's not like the Neely's or the other cooking shows. They will have already made one before. Show my face sometime. Before you uh, start videoing, and that way you can have the finished product right after you begin working it. But this is not TV. We're going to do this. And I want you to notice I take my thumb. And as I'm forming the biscuit or working it, my thumb actually mashes it. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm getting more flour on it. Yep, need a lot of flour. And as you see, if you're trying to make biscuits and not have flour everywhere, you're not going to make any biscuits. You have to come prepared, dress for battle in order to make biscuits. <laughs> Your family will love it. It's well worth the appreciation that you get. Sometimes they don't say anything, they just eat. But an empty plate says, oh, okay. Believe it or not, sometimes I have to make sure I hurry up and get some because they'll be all gone. Now, Jay, you can uh, Pause the video now while I finish this, then we'll start back filming once we get to the last stage. Now, we got all, all we need to do now is just finish making all the biscuits, rolling all the biscuits out. You can start.